have game number one. We are live, we are kicking. Berlin, make some noise. Playing route, starting off at Zaki. She's going to go diagonally over the map, ending at Milter Power. Now, this is the point, Lauren. Where do people go? Where do people start? Where do we see? It could be a... Everything we've wrote down could be just a complete mismatch. Literally, I, I might just throw this over there in a second. <laughs> We're going to have to keep our eyes drilled on this map, and I'm sure you guys are at home wondering where teams are going. What is the plan here? We're seeing a couple of teams heading off quite early on, and if there's anything that stands out to us that maybe not in the norm, then we'll highlight it. Anything standing out to you so far? Yeah, I didn't expect anybody going to Vernon. It looks like three teams are actually, oh, excuse me, two teams are yeah. out on the prize. Well, and that was meant enough, to be available. That was meant to be open for grabs. Ironically, both of these teams qualify through the same qualifier. They know one another. <sighs> this is both of the Asian teams from the Taiwanese, I think, equal qualification. Okay. So they'll have some idea at least how they played. Let's look at George as well, because we did say about Welcome to South, George, that the Korean teams could be questioning them very early on. and. Hey, that. Uh, hello. Oh, is look at that car's looking a little different. It's looking quite That's nice. It's a nice bit of uh, paintwork. Huh. Huh. I like it. Fard's got a nice new ride to just go for a little drive around and just you know, <laughs> really show off in George now. He's got the, you know, the little Hot Wheels coming in, so he's going to get himself uh, going as well. So welcome South George. You need to be on a swivel, though. They know that there are teams close by, and the circle has come through. So we know where that's going to be. That is towards the southeast side of the map. Almost slap bang in. The middle would be, I guess, shelter a little to the south of it. So you're looking at that sort of area to be where they crunch towards. But now we get to see it all open in front of you. Who gets first blood? Who's going to get the loot they want? Where are these teams going? All right, then, so we've got the usual format here. If we look across to South George now, this is an interesting one because as we look at Genji Black, they've gone for the 2-2 split. It looks to me like potentially they might try and box in WTSG. They know WTSG's here. Avanga, they're happy. They can do the usual thing. They'll just chill in the north. However, when we look at CGX, I didn't expect them so far up in Zaki. No, it's curious here. We are seeing 4AM working away across the bridge. We did have a little glimpse of that as well, heading south. But there are all teams waiting over in Nova. Now, I don't know how looted up this team is, so this could be a problem. He does at least have a mini. This could be a picked up kill. This could be first blood in the tournament. This could be everything coming through here. The mini does get the tag, but it doesn't get the frag just yet. This could be huge now. I think he may have at least took the time. You saw the, the cow wobbling a little bit as the rest of 4AM. They That's, will try. It's, it's going to be a one shot now on one of the players the there. Connection. Just about making their way. Reload saves his life. Lucky, lucky yeah, man. Godby is counting his stars. So where are they pinning them back? I love it. The fact that you actually have fan bases here. We haven't. I don't think we've quite seen this on this scale yet and on not, this level not. where fans literally turn up to support their teams. And I'm wondering if that was a you know a bit of a read into the other team as well. If you're looking at the bridge area, if you know how a team likes to play, you know their rotation routes. You position one man towards it. Could be a piece of uh, you know a bit of mind play there. I like the idea of it but everyone is still alive. No one wants to be the first to fall. Okay, so let's talk about the ones that we actually did get correct. Now, Liquid, we know they go yes, and I yep. happy days for them. No one's touching Liquid because they're absolute monsters. The Knights from Europe, they're in the same place as ever. Just the left-hand side of Lepovka. Do what they want, watch for people driving by. Savage, now there's no phase here, so you'll see them in Milter Power. Sometimes when we cast them before, you will always see phase there, but they can just go across all the bank, from the power down to the mini power, all along the coastline. Meanwhile, further left, we keep going through. We see Honey Badger Nation. Now, I expected them to go Nova, and they even said we're going Nova, it's not a problem. They've backed off. Hmm. So this is where we see Genji Gold. They're allowed to go home, they get the usual place of Nova, and it's 4 a.m. who end up being inside military. Usual place for Navi, down at bottom in Prim. Ironically, no one's actually there to kind of even bother them. However, the plane route wasn't too good for them. It did yep. take a bit of time to get there. They've only just landed on their feet. They need to get that loot now and then start to get a wiggle on because that circle is quite far away. Oh, I just want that car, but yes, it is <laughs> far away. The thing is that they've had not much going their way. With the circle and the plane route combining, it does mean they are going to be chipped away at time. And I'm wondering if anyone goes for like early good positioning here, if anyone's going to be that quick. It's very early game, though, to be doing that. But you are going to be seeing teams kind of considering it, because we know there's not that many hard compounds, quote-unquote, if you look at towards the area that's probably going to centralize on, that kind of southern area, possibly by the lumber yard. It's very tricky to get good positioning there, because there's a lot of open ground, a lot of hillsides. So we are starting to see some of the teams working their way towards certain positions. They may not be fully happy with the loot they've got, but at this point, you want to get that positioning early. Send that one man out to claim that good spot, so then you can pull the rest of your players into the same position. The Knights have got a good run because they're so split, and that's how they do it. They'll send one or two down to Lepovka. You'll see Kramer up at the top, and then Boxit usually kicking it somewhere around prison. They're really spread out. Now, that circle 
If I was a betting man, I'd probably suggest it's going to shift north. We will soon find out. You'll probably look in the bottom corner. We've also got the new observer tools on there. You can see the time of what's carried on the game. You can see how many teams are alive, how many players, and then the blue zone phase. So that time is until it actually clicks over. So you'll have two t timers. You'll see one till the next phase is actually going to about to move, and then two, how long it is till it touches the edge. You mentioned earlier on 4am that it get a bit tanked up to get down onto uh, onto Millie base, but now they've kind of at least we did see in scrims as well that they did go here a few times. That's uh, that's a 24. That's a nice goal. That's is that nice silenced as well? Did I, uh, catch it? I can't see it at that angle. I'm not sure. Uh, but the thing, the, the one thing about military bases, it's the supplementing loot that you sometimes lack. I think Boogie slightly highlighted on the desk as well is the fact that sometimes you don't always get those perfect scopes. You don't get all the perfect attachments because they just don't seem to have the place here. So again, that could be a factor. We are seeing at least a little bit of the scopes on here. And actually, uh -oh. Wick, he's a danger man. We know it can be. This could be first blood, and it will be. Wick confirms, and the Aussies fall down under, and Jams is not going to be feeling so good about that one. Yeah, that's not a, not a good way to start. Wick claims the first victim. Honey Badger Nation, 15 points in the bag. And if you look on Champ's name in the top right-hand corner, you will see the red splatter. That means they are confirmed dead. Before, you wouldn't actually see that. You'd see a skull, but now you will see a blood mark. When you see the blood mark, they're out of the game, they're deleted from the server. Looking at the overview as well. well this is, look at how many teams Thunder are posturing for this area. Everyone struggle. wants this position very quickly. This is what I theorized would be end game, quote unquote. But you've got to be careful here. You don't want to kind of put yourself in a position where everyone's eyes on you. You've got to try and play that timing just right. And that is the name of the game. And it's so tricky to do it. Every time I look at this car, I just think of that pinky t-shirt I had as a kid. The black shirt that we're all over. As we do whip across to Myth. Just trying to take control here on the side of the lumber mill. Looking across as refund do try and get up there. If they get in the lumber, they're pretty much going to be central. So it would be uh, it'd be decent for them. Nice little bit of pacing. They can move up there. Jeems, however, Jeems, in the kill feed. Is. Now, let, let's also remember, this being third-person perspective, a lot more of these just kind of terrain-based positions become very viable. It's not just hard compounds. Scoon's getting in on the action. This is Liquid lining up the kill feed very early on, and a couple more shots come through. The connections aren't so perfect, but Jeems, he's being a little bit naughty about this. He's been a little bit relentless. They've taken one player out there from Oyun and at least took the tires out of the vehicle. Now that vehicle's gone completely, so they just smashed that to a million pieces. The smoke's down at least, so you can run away with this one. Keep your eye out, folks, for all various little differences here, especially on the observer mode. There are a few new tools that PUBG are going to be showing off, and they are damn good because they give us so much more information. Meanwhile, this is, uh, let's talk about this team then. Genji Black obviously not had the greatest of runs over in the Korean leagues. However, still second place is pretty damn good. They won the first initial out of all the Pro Tours. They came first, and then after that, everything kind of escalated down. Every time we saw Genji Gold get second, these guys got 11th. I think they got 11th two or three uh, times this is, back This to back. is going to be a, a bit of a breach here. There's players right on by. This is huge. Wick's already got one kill, so he's got, you know, first blood in the back of his mind, but he could be in for another bit of a problem here. He doesn't realize how many players there are possibly. Well, maybe he does. Fast Trail's going to be able to spot this one out, and they're on the run. They're getting out of there. They felt the danger. They don't want any of that. Wick might be able to switch over to the 16, get a bit of damage done, but Winfall, make it away. Yeah, they definitely had some sort of info there. They at least got away with it. Happy days for them. Winfall do keep all four alive. And this is the thing, when we look at all these teams, they've all been here. They've all, they're all event winners. You wouldn't be here if you wasn't at the end of the day. So they all have a, a very, very good idea to play. Speak a little bit more about what you mentioned with the, the TPP side of things and those aspects. Obviously, there's a lot of old armor boys in here. Coming back to it and looking at all these different players and talking to them, all right, it brings it back. It, it brings back the memories and rolls back the years, so to speak, that they can at least have this information laying down. I mean, laying down in itself, all right, we talk about snakes and stuff. Being able to lay down and, and, and get the lay of the land, know where the, where the cracks and all the crevices are. These guys know this map, Erangel, like the back of their hand. If there's a tiny, tiny little ditch, bump or crevice, they'll they abuse it. it. Oh, yeah, they know exactly where they can position, whether it be hard cover or not. So, for now, a lot of teams just trying to find their place. We're looking for when that circle hits and moves to the next spot. Is it going to be a hard shift? Will it push players into an uncomfortable position? For now, no one's playing massively late either. We'll see a lot of games where teams are taking their time here. We're here in a car 98, and that gets me excited. But overall, we will see teams, you know, occasionally taking their time, maybe not fancying the early rotations, you know, just working edge circle. But for now, it looks like everyone's going very central here. This is what I mean about those uh, opening game nerves, is that teams will not want to take any risks. It's okay, what's the safest bet? And this is it. We could have moved a little bit down the hill, not too far from where they're starting. He has neither could have stayed in if they really want to, but... Not last to arrive. It's going to be Navi, all four. 
three vehicles between them. Happy days for them. The Chiefs will be seeing this one. There's no point in even taking shots because A, you're going to give away your position. And B, you're already down a man, so you don't want to be losing more. We are only, of course, 10 minutes into this game. One man down. It's not very, very good. The last team that will be arriving will be uh -oh. Gen G Black. Do you see a crew? We see not a couple out. of vehicles. I think they're okay. I don't think they're going to really go for much. The, the vehicles are safe. They're, they're pretty well positioned. I don't know if they're going to go for too many peaks. Their gear's not great. I'm seeing level one vest, level one helmet. It's not ideal. So that could be a factor down the line that if you've got to be careful with what you have. But 4AM on the move, just going to be trying to position themselves here. But OMG on far away, and their position's going to be quite tricky for 4AM to get past. But considering 4AM probably play this position a lot, you've got to feel they know how to deal with this. I think as well, if you're going to be knowing that this is 4AM, OMG obviously being the, the sister Chinese team that fell second to them, to come here, you want a little bit of revenge. If you can take these boys out, it's going to give you so much confidence. But again, 4AM rocking that M24. You've got to be careful. That thing will take your face off, especially if you don't have the range. I mean, you need at least M16 with a four times to be able to tap fire back and give some sort of cover fire support. At the moment, they're in a really good position. The central pretty much of the map. They've got the gas station locked down. They've also got a little bit of utility in the buildings to the left. And if they do need to evacuate, they've got the vehicles to do that. Genji still wandering on the uh, on the old hillside this is something that i think comes from the um, the tpp kind of region notice how some of them will take vehicles and then they'll actually eject players on while the rest of them kind of all right we've seen it in europe where you'll, you'll get that initial Ooh, scout circle, so to speak. Richard, we've gone to the east you can see the big shift now it was kind of centralized well previously it was centralized towards the lumber yard now it's going to shift all the way to these, and that's a lot of blue. That's a lot of water in there. That's going to make it quite tricky for these teams to find good positions, because we already know the Liquid's got that god-tier compound that I love. I think that's a really nice spot. You have a couple of teams in Milter early, but that thing can be quite tricky to you know, rotate away from, push them out of there. If it shifts you back central, late game, you're going to be in trouble. All these teams are going to be oh looking dear. for room, and this is going to be terrifying, and this could be a bigger problem. The AK tears him down, and the nade just to confirm the kill. And you can see the nice little tracer. And it slipped a little bit too far away, but it's good enough to get the job done. Yeah, those nades. 3.5 meter kill box. Happy days. You ain't getting nowhere when you are down. Unfortunately, with the nade, you are out. Here comes the big rotation that everyone needs to just get a land grab. This is going to be so, so messy. And TG, they've opted... Oh, Larson. Actually, they've got WTSG behind them. We've wow. got two teams. Look at the bomb. We've got AHQ that might have eyes on this, but TG, Larson's they've got to turn trouble. the base. He's getting Tracer Fire from way further away as well. Larson needs to be very careful here. The nades come down, but he's going to be pinned into this one, feeling very isolated and very pressured. Dre from the back lines finding Gaxi. That is massive play coming out. So we got Mossy onto Larson. We got Knights onto Gaxi. So we got TG and Knights just picking apart WTSG. Vard needs to make something happen. The grenade goes off in front of him. His screen is shaking. That noise is there's, so brutal. There's no way they're getting revives out here. There is no way they're saving their teammates. Vard might have to just bail on this. Gaxi could be picked up potentially, but it depends how aggressive these guys want to get. If they want to push this, WTSG are on the back foot and Knights. Oh, Dre, look at what he could see. If only he could see as much as we could just a centimeter away. I mean, even if he does get him up, it is in such a nasty position. TG still laying down fire to the left-hand side. This is four teams. This is what's going to happen now with this circle. They're all just going to be crushed together and compacted. 76 players for this circle when there's about 40%, maybe 30% water is ridiculous. Everyone's going to be on their coastline. And then when the circle does, if it does move back towards the west, you'll then get all those coastline people just unfortunately boxed in a little bit too much. Chilada comes round the corner, and we do see THM ready, waiting, confirms the kill with the Tommy gun, of all things. Fair play. Find what you can and make it work. Level 1 vest, level 2 helmet, and Tommy gun. All right, the M4's there, but still not the greatest to be working here with. No, but doing marvelously as is. Let's see if that AK can get back into this, though. Hands of Eska. Known to be a bit of a player here, but we need to see the numbers reflecting that. Need the kills to be coming through, but... This is a lot of teams split in very kind of individual positions here. I mean, we've got to be careful. Uh, Savage just in the distance as well. If um, Floki and his partner decide to move up into the mini mill to power area and kind of look. That, you know, if prisons weren't scary enough, Richard, <laughs> add these lot to it. I'm just looking at how much range Knights have. I don't know if you noticed. I think they had two SLRs I'm and a K98 between I'm them. I'm seeing it. Yeah, they've it's, got plenty. It's ridiculous. Level one, level two. Oh, Evanger taking a bit of fire. That's the M24, so Ono himself, a uh, pretty well-known sniper. Winner's actually going to give him a bit of a taste of his own medicine, completely takes his head off. They'll be able to crawl inside there, provided there's no grenades 
Because you can't, it's really, the only problem with those containers is really easy to bounce nades through the door and then you just, you compacted so much. This is the position we're talking about on the rock side. It's okay being here and it's a really good position now for the circle. But if it does shift more towards the west, they're then fighting an uphill battle. I'm just wondering if Winner knows where the 2-2 split may be. I don't know if he's aware of the other two players, Keen and Amino. That could be the issue. If he tries to overextend to pick up one of these two again, punish them like he did before, that could be a bit of a problem. But Tyson's going for a bit of a walk as well. These guys aren't resting on their laurels. They're very active in the way they're playing this. They're very much looking for opportunities and being aware of where they could be pinched from, that could have been a spot there as well. It looks like Winner might have been able to call that one out. Considering the down of two players, this is a good way to play. I'm glad you brought that up. Two players and you're rocking level one helmet, level one chest. It's uh, it's not great. And when you're having a crack at a Vanga like that and, and taking down their IGL in the form of honor, you're going to have all kinds of problems because so now they teams. know where you are. But the, the main place that hasn't been taken is the backside of Mill to Power. I'd expect maybe one team to just go, not necessarily for there's, a There's going to be so many. Just bail for it. Yeah, there's going to be so many teams going for that back sort of positioning. So many teams now need to move. The safety has been removed here. It's basically centering in on Milter Power. Every team's on the run. Back. They're in trouble. Mino needs to get himself. It's a cover. No, caught in the heels. Edge catches him out. That... A little bit of a mini work coming through Major on this one. And they do just about get to the Yellow Houses. He does get into safety, but they need to slow this down for a second, get everyone in, get the revives, get this as their own. OMG are actually traversing behind them. Here comes everybody. I mean, look at that. The cavalry has arrived, boys and girls. The top of the hill, you've still got one team. I think I'm not entirely sure that is all the way up there. But still, they're all... Oh, bye-bye. Ranger, a Ranga, a Ragnar, should I say. Unfortunately, will get run over. He's down and out. In the open as well, you won't expect him to be picked up. Meanwhile, we'll see this 4 a.m. going against. We'll see Loki also falling. That's a 24 as well for OHM. And this is what we mean now, Lauren. This place is just going to be so messy. The size of this circle and so many people alive. The kill feed is just going to be alive. Somehow Liquid made it here. Somehow they are okay for now. But we are seeing Ragnar now being confirmed dead, getting really punished on this one. A lot of the teams being caught on rotations in really curious ways. Somehow running to simply maybe they don't have the vehicles and they got damaged. Yumru, unfortunately, will have fallen off the back of the vehicle there, unless he went off the back. And but punished too. Yeah. Shine Blue comes in. Now we'll see North America stepping up. McCoy. That's a headshot onto Drini, so Navi, first player, does fall, but he must have got back up straight away because, oh no, excuse me, he's down. So that's Myth, that's a kill steal. 15 points going the way of Myth. Oh my god, Pino, got to be so scared here. Knights around him on all fronts. He does get down one, but he can't survive for the second. The trade comes back in from Texas, and they should be able to confirm that kill. There's the smoke going in to try and allow their teammates to get the revives here. Voxic will be picked up. And we'll be seeing Kramer probably dealt with by his teammates. But Texas is worried because he knows there's been more players here. And Texas does finally confirm the kill towards Pino. So Knights are in a decent position, assuming they don't get pressured from other players for a couple of seconds so they can get those revives back in. So, so far, I mean, I could be completely wrong here, but I'm, I, I'm thinking. I've oh, not seen anyone. shot! Scoom, what on earth? I've, you I've can not see seen the anyone traces from... from a mile away. This is the thing. I've not seen anyone from Europe go down. Oh, excuse me, WTSG, obviously. But still, uh, Knights have been really pulling out back here. Liquid have been doing well. Gaxi and Maraku, I'm really glad these guys are at least managed to stay alive because they got battered from two different angles in quite the early game. Frank Fads there as well. I thought they'd lost more than that. So that's, that's a really good recovery from WTSG, but it depends what's it done to their economy. How's their gear? How's the meds? There could be in all kinds of problems with the late game. EVAP onto Mossy. TG lose one. 15 points in the bag for Navi. Mortify literally clinging on by his bare teeth. All that. The sound of these guns at range does sound lovely sometimes. Scoom, though, is collecting kills. This is big work. Now, every team is still roughly alive here. 20 teams still stand. So no full team has gone down just yet. But Liquid are looking like they want to get kills here. They look very hungry on this. You can see that four times complementing that well for them. Next circle going to slightly move them southeast again. So Mini Milter is a gorgeous position currently. But 4 a.m., they're still on that score, you know, score feed here. They're still racking these bodies up. They're still doing well for themselves. Thankfully, nobody went directly behind Milter, so at least they can chill for now. Liquid's in an absolutely banging position. They can just sit behind the hill. P for Potato, takes out Timid. That's Revenge earlier on for Wick with the initial kill. On to the Chiefs. But Meow. Mew. Still lurking, still waiting. Ares will find Mamino. That's a second knock from him. Grizzly back off to P for Potato. A little bit of revenge there. Esther, though, 
You know what, OHM are causing all kinds of problems in this kill they feed. They really are. They're just kind of here, there, and everywhere. They haven't been particularly spotted. This is a nice angle. If you can control the spray, it's a good spot. But the cover's decent on the other side, even if his position's okay with the circle against the other team. His smoke goes up, but he's got to be cautious here. There's so many players around. He's trying to be a nuisance on his own. Where's his teammates in this one? Where's his support? The issue being up there is that circle's going to mm -hmm. hurt. You know, it's really going to hurt. They've got 2 minutes 50. Look at that kill feed. We've already seen one team fall. Gaxi's not far behind. The is screwed here. I think they've got one up. Yeah, Maybe. it's just Miraku right now, and he's on the run. He's running into more fire from other teams. I, he, that, this could be them gone. They could be the second team to fall out of this one. Miraku, I think, is your last man standing on that squad. And he's getting tagged up as well. It is. Oh, already gone oh. down. Miraku is in trouble. Pressure just about everywhere. He's going to try and build himself a little fortress to heal in and try and keep away the wolves at the door, but for now he is in real trouble. Really quick note for Liquid, even though they were safe, Lauren, they've still moved. They decided to take the middle mini mill to power. That's amazing. To run the gauntlet of so many people still been in there. So, okay, boys, we're not safe here. Let's get out of it. They took the vehicles. They're now central. It used to be one of the strongest spots in this map a while ago. If you ever played that wall, it used to have a little bit of a different position you could get to that was very, very dangerous. Um, now it's not there anymore, but you can see the nice control from Dre, but not all the shots hitting, but enough does in the end. Fast rail does go down. That's a bit of a problem now as the rest of the Honey Badger, Je Honey Badger Nation were behind it. But yes, Navi stole that. So that's not a kill in their pocket. Ebat takes the dink with the mini at range. The mini is a nasty, nasty weapon. Them whole DMRs, like, it's kind of the DMR AR meta at the moment. Yep. Throw the 7.62 in there with the SLRs, and you're, uh, you're laughing for days. Voxic, the Knights are doing fantastic work here so far. We're seeing plenty, plenty of knocks, plenty of kills coming out of them. We'll see how it kind of forwards. Only two confirmed, though. They have been aggressive. They've been assertive. They've been trying to make the plays. You're seeing it still time and time again. Now getting another kill, but it's hard to make it count here because there's so many teams with so many eyes on situations that are just praying for that. And you're praying you don't get spotted if you're this one no player. Best. Just snaking on through. No best in a level one budget helmet. He's, uh, trying to kind of fight for survival here. Samti finds OMG. Here we go. Liquid. Moving in. Refund going to hit this one, but Liquid's already waiting with open arms. How is he still alive on that bike? I don't know how no long idea. he's going to be alive for now. It looks like he has been found by one of the Savage players in the end, but he made a good run for it. Jimbo's lurking, though. Big James. One kill apiece. Samty just looking for one. He got the knock earlier on, so at least he helped out. Navi will collect high lane. Uh, did they lose? Yes, they must have lost Drain. In fact, they did because it was stolen by Myth. So they're still down to three players inside the circle. They built themselves a little fort, two UAZs. And then none of the tires are gone and the vehicles aren't blown out, so they can still at least move if they have uh -oh, to. Uh-oh, uh-oh, that's a dangerous angle to be a miracle. You're the last man alive. Oh, this is going to be it. Great shot comes in. And M24 singing as it just completely decapitates any of the hope WTSG had for game one. Four angry men. They will just bury them. Unfortunately, 18th place for WTSG. Not a great start in game number one. The story of, the, of this whole game is this circle, though. How many people are alive? I mean, that's the bigger picture of TPP, right? Because you have so much information. Yep. You can move slower. A lot more will play edge, which is what we're seeing. And now Liquid's aggression getting into mini mill to power has paid dividends. They knew that Milta had a good chance of being pushed out of it. The main mill to power, they moved. They're in a great position. But still, it's all about the little yellow house at the bottom of the lumber mill. All these players are still going to make a move. And I was thoroughly impressed with Savage's 2-2 split. They're going for an early push here. As soon as that circle popped in, they're off. They're on the way. They're going to try and meet up with their teammates. Liquid's going to spot this uh -oh. out. There could be a bit of crossfire coming in here. This might not be as easy as they like, but actually, it's not Liquid getting the kills. It's another team in the back lines. It's gold coming through on that one. Molodoy onto Myth. The Naru will fall at least. Style him as well back onto him. Sees the completion through, but the answer back. So far, Myth have taken one player from Navi. Can they take more? They're trading off left, right, oh, and center. Oh, look at this push. Richard, he's a madman. He's just gone for the push. He does get traded out in the end, so it's not all gone their way. Made in Thailand, losing their minds in that. I think that's a one-on-one. -on -one. Literally, Eba is the from last the man lines. standing versus Spitz. Spitz inside, so he yep. can gatekeep him if he really wants to. Molodoy will be telling him where the info is here. I mean, I'm really intrigued to see what Eba can do. There's, there's probably not a great deal, to be honest, and he's just trying to fight for survival. silo has gone down. I'm wondering if that's the end of TG's run as well. 4 a.m. Fit seen this. He's seen the move. How does he play it, though? Intra. Made in time. We've seen the aggression. These guys love it. a bit of it. Why not go for it? He's got the AK in hand. He spots out the player. It gets up close. Can he get the kill? No. Na'Vi denies. Not only did Na'Vi deny going out in 15th, 
They also keep a second player alive. That is absolutely massive. They've got a beautiful little ridge line to work off of. They can chill for a, a one minute, 10 seconds. They can get some gear off the dead bodies. They can refuel. Now all of a sudden it's the knight's turn to fall under the hammer. As you've seen, I think it was Drayden go down with a headshot from one of the sniper rifles. OMG, three man strong still. Open the top lines here, but they need to get inside. And when they do get inside, there's not much room. There's not much cover. Press gaming though. Again, this aggression really holding, even though they are playing on the very edge. Oh, oh. oh my God, the blue just at the, oh, he makes it. Good work from him with the meds coming at the last possible second, but for how long? It's, you know, th there's no respite here. Turtle though, keep your eye on the kill feed, catching a nice little shot there. The M24s are seeming to come in really strong today. They're in a really good position as well. They can keep everybody wants to kind of traverse this way around because this ridge that's right in front of them is insane. It's like a plateau. The fact that you can go up and dip behind it, it's massive. You've also got a pylon tower inside. Edge sees one player just chilling. Oh, that's oh, a oh, dink oh, and a oh, half. That's a shot. Sadly, it does get stolen. stolen. <laughs> oh, the story of PUBG. See Still. Spot more. He good eyes him? here. That's and circle. here we go. Look oh. at that circle hit. Mini what? Milter is going to be really pretty much the final battleground for this game. It will close as central as you like on that. OMG, you've got to push this one. Liquid are going to see all four players. They rotate. Excuse me, all three players. Not only do they have to rotate past Liquid, they've got 4AM on the back lines as well. Savage can do the same. They're not exactly in a bad spot. They're actually within Mini Milter. And you can see exactly what can happen with that beast of a gun. Now, 4 a.m., good spot, good position. I like the way these three teams have played. They took the initiative early. They're going to gatekeep OMG to a bit of an uncomfortable position. They're fine to a degree where they are. There is a death flight that has that time limit. How long is that viable? When that next circle hits and pushes us forward, after this, if someone goes on that southern swing, we're done for. You've got to be thinking ahead here. And every team in Mini Milter has really done that. Navi still taking faces, still keeping alive. Amazing work from these guys so far. Six kills between just between two players. Eban, man of the hour, looks up. Move across to Ibi's POV. Sees the rest of Evanga lurking in the woods. Diaz and Mumino, they fall back to back. 36 players alive. It's a little bit different from the 60 to 70 we saw earlier on. Chiefs in the Harry Potter. They're just begging nobody decides to come their way. OMG, though. Again, you mentioned that definitely. It's nice, but when they've got to move, that's when the problem is. Grammatic now. Last man standing here for Gen G Black. At least pick up Keen on the way forward, and now he's gone. 14th position will find their feet. A valiant attempt at life there, and you're going to see... Oh, my. What? Wick. Wick, are you kidding me right now? He is smoke. surrounded. There's so many players near him. You. Oh, my God. NA on an air. What's he going to do? Wick, he waits. He hears everything around him. He's letting them go. He's got a flashbang. Hold on, Richard. This is incredibly smart. Ballot could be caught by that. He's putting down the utility. We have to go back to it. Surely we have to see how that unfolds. We, we've seen Wick, what he can do with nades. Look at what he did to, to qualify. He, he killed two teams. It was a one versus eight, and he did it. I'll just keep an eye on that kill feed and see if it does come through. Still alive for now. You can see it in the bottom left. I'm curious. The green in the front of the car. Less colorful color is Samti though on the spray and that's going to do well. Mumino can't control it and Jeems confirms the kill. It may not be Samti's, but it will do the job. That goes into Liquid's pockets. Five kills already. These guys are really putting up numbers. If they can keep this going towards late game, if they have the sustain, they're in a very good spot. And another one. Gold comes through with a knock. Liquid pick it up. Headshot to kill. 15 points a time, remember. Oh, Wick. He let them go. Ghost got away from him. Southeast they ran and Wick crawls his way forward. He can get into safety here as well. He's staying alive for his team. Keep in mind, the rest of his team are dead. He's playing for position as best he can. You have to play it slow, careful, cautious. The other teams will be out for kills and you know, being a little bit more aggressive, but we're seeing some of the CIS teams starting to look a little bit rough. Yeah, they decided to give himself up to the blue and, not, and deny any extra additional points towards the two teams that was looking at CGX and the Chiefs. Nine teams alive. You're into your top ten, guys. Here we go. Edge and critical. They're in a pretty bad spot, to be honest. They've got an open floor right in front of them. However, they do have... Uh, do I have eyes on the boys of CGX oh, this across is the road? A brilliant thing for me. I'm loving this. So 4 a.m. have to one deal with OMG. Then if they want to move north, it's liquid in their way. We know that 4 a.m. have been racking up kills, being aggressive, being good players at this. Team Savage doing the same. Savage to a degree are okay. They have some positioning within that new circle where they're all right. 
But look at this wall. It's separating these two, but Bala gets a lean, gets a shot, gets a knock, but not a kill. Profi now, nade in hand. They might just dip that up and over, but it will do the job. They do confirm the kill, and nade comes in. This could be trouble for gold. Turns on a pin, he gets the call, and people are lurking up in the top of the windows. He hears the bullets kicking off. They're in between the rock and hard place here, Rich. Really You've got to be really careful if you're a ghost. You are surrounded on both fronts. You can't take this too lightly. You want to win one of these two fights so you can focus on the second. Profi's torn in two minds. Savage are lining them up, but OMG are on the move. 4AM's going to see that as well. Liquid are about to be flooded too. This is about to get very scary for a lot of teams. James finally goes down. Silent finds him with the scan. Look at Liquid. Quirk look at OMG. Well. They're right on top of each other. And OMG, they're finding Liquid. Liquid are in trouble. Can you believe that? Scoop's holding an ankle. Santi's still just about alive. But there is now problems. Ibby's gone down. OMG looking hungry here. The beats that happy. No one's really bothered them. Oh, they're picking they're up kills all this over. One. They're going for the push on this. OMG. For... <gasps> and the oh, knee. It's, it's so good. And now they're pushing it. Silent's going in. He's looking through that smoke. Shrouded though, Liquid still just about staying alive. But will they be found? Can they stay alive through this? Or OMG, just too much to handle. Ghost in the meantime have been fighting off against Gold. Another nade gets thrown. Samti and Scoon just about alive. And OMG seem to have taken their foot off the gas. That's insane. You've seen Liquid just perched there for all this time, collecting bodies, collecting numbers. 4AM are on the run though, Rich. They're making a mad dash for this too. This could be huge between these teams. Ghost has found Chiefs. Oh, They're getting that's a big nerd. absolutely destroyed here. And OMG are going on the push. They, oh, the UMP does it. He leaves the corner. Great angle. But who's in the back lines? It's 4AM. They're coming around to surprise. They've claimed Scoom. And now they want more. 4AM are so aggressive right now. They're pushing for all of this. Oh, they want it so badly. Look how much they're pushing it. They're still trying to find these guys but they're down. they've done it omg are gone 4 a.m find them liquids out as well oh my word what We're a push from 4 a.m this is huge great play so savage currently hold the buildings but ghosts are happy to fight that ghosts have a little bit of an eye towards 4 a.m let's take into account where every single one of these four remaining teams are you can see the vast majority but there has to be someone alive there has to be another danger man there has to be someone in the back lines, there's another player for now. We can keep tabs on that. But actually, he's kind of got the circle there if you look Savage. at that. Yeah, it's a player from, oh, excuse me, no, it's, oh, it's Crest Gaming's wow. player. Okay. All right. <laughs> the last standing snake. I had a few cheers there in the back lines. But right now, you look at the circle, Ghost essentially have the line. 4 a.m. have to come towards them. Savage have to get past them. So for now, it's which way do they look? Can they hold this? Can they weather the storm coming their way? 4 a.m. are a god-tier team. I'm taking nothing away from these guys. Eight kills, and they know what's going on here. I think God V. If he, imagine here if comes he, a push, oh, Rich. It. It's 4 a.m. on the run. All players moving out together. Going to try and make this one count, but can anyone stop them? Can go stand in their way? McCoy eyes it up, spots one, gets tagged, does not get the frag backs off from this. But actually, 4 a.m. is being caught in the hills. God V goes down. They do fight back, and we see the battle of the mini Milton teams now unfolding. 4 a.m. still stand, but Ghost are still in their way. They have not made it past just yet. But Profi eyes them up. Can they spot anyone else out now? I mean, out of all these teams, they're going to be the most geared. Look at them crawling, Rich. Look at this it. play. McCoy, Turtle, Balak, they're going to line them up. This is huge. McCoy now just leaves the corner, sprays in. He doesn't get the job done. But that time he will. Him and Profi combine, and it's job done. Down to two, and it looks like Ghost Gaming are in prime position here to take this. North America. Four Against players the snake. alive. They'll try and pick one up, but that's going to be it. Ghost Gaming take game number one. All four players remaining in the final circle. They line them up, they knock them down. What a way to start the day. And they fought off against the likes of 4AM, who took down Liquid. We saw so much there. Looking quickly at that positioning, Rich, anything standing out to you? The, the thing for me was <laughs> oh, how that's many, what it means to these guys. How many were alive? They were geared up. They had level twos, they had the guns, they had 24s, they had k 98s. They stood their ground, they got together. But I tell you what, 4AM, I have never seen it committed, and that's committed rather than just bail from it, committed wow. aggression ever. They said, all right, it's time to push. They wiped two teams back to back. That was insane play. That is a team with fire beneath them right now. It's, it's phenomenal to watch. 4 a.m. certainly turned my head. They looked great in that. They looked aggressive, assertive. We saw OMG completely bullying Liquid as well. Liquid did not weather the storm once that team started to really pressure them. This is what we want to be seeing from this tournament. That is the statement to be made. That is the first game.